For as long as key fobs and smart keys will be used to unlock cars, there will always be people exploiting these technologies to try to remotely unlock them, and today's vulnerability article is no different. Vulnerabilities in the Kia web portal allow for an attacker to control any Kia equipped with a remote hardware in under 30 seconds, regardless of whether it has an active Kia Connect subscription. Gone are the days of needing to smash a window or use a Slim Jim to unlock or steal a car. Now all you need is an app on your phone and any Kia with wireless capabilities, and it's yours. These vulnerabilities also expose the car owner's sensitive personal information, including their name, phone number, email address, and physical address, and the exploit enabled attackers to add themselves as a second user on the targeted vehicles without the owner's knowledge. So if being able to remotely steal your Kia wasn't bad enough, an attacker could also dox you just for owning a Kia. So let's take a look at how this security researcher actually pulled off this attack. So the researcher first exploited a vulnerability in the kiaconnect.kdealer.com portal, to be able to register an account as a Kia dealer. So obviously this would be an account with higher privileges than a normal Kia portal account. Once they had possession of a dealer account, they were able to access backend APIs that gave them information about a vehicle's owner and full access to the car's remote control features based on a Kia's vehicle identification number. So basically once they had this Kia dealer account, it granted them access to special features within the portal that gave them information about customers and their vehicles. The attackers then abused this API access to add their own email address to any Kia vehicle of their choosing, which allowed them to remotely control the vehicle with this newly granted access. And the remote control capability includes remotely tracking the car, unlocking it, starting it, or even honking the car's horn. So these are obviously some very severe vulnerabilities, and thankfully these types of vulnerabilities typically get patched quickly once they're publicly known. Otherwise we'd have a bunch of people running around like they're the main character in Watch Dogs stealing cars on the streets from a tap on their phone. The researcher that discovered the vulnerabilities and created the exploit tool stated that these vulnerabilities have since been fixed. This tool was never released publicly, and the Kia team has validated that this was never exploited maliciously. It's great and all that these vulnerabilities were patched and can no longer be exploited, but I think there's a bigger security concern here. The fact that the researcher was able to exploit a web vulnerability and get access to a dealer account that gave them all this information and remote capabilities, really sounds like these Kia dealer accounts have more privileges than they should. Because why does every Kia dealer need the ability to access any Kia vehicle owner's personal information, as well as be able to remotely control their vehicle? It sounds like these accounts are way overprivileged, and Kia needs to remove some of these privileges in case an exploit like this happens again. Because there's no reason for a web vulnerability being exploited to lead to being able to control any Kia vehicle in the world. And I can't really think of a reason for a Kia dealer to need remote access to your car. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed or found this video useful, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more cybersecurity news breakdowns and other ethical hacking content. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.